What do you get when you get an insurance agent, a restaurateur, a petroleum salesperson, a lawyer, and a college admissions officers together to walk into an old bar? Badass brewery. So our name is Broken Throne Brewing, so it kind of is a, a reference of kingdoms and old times and that kind of thing. So we kind of did that with some natural woods and blacks and dark colors and uh, throughout the brewery. So that's the overall feel and look. Um, and then also it's just kind of a comfortable environment too. Um, you're drinking beer here, so it's not like you want it to be relaxed. And so that's, that's the overall feel that we went. How'd you guys get into business together on starting a brewery? Ooh, that's a good question. I think it was at a beer festival. It actually. was actually. We yeah. were at All Tech's Beer Festival in Lexington, Kentucky, and we've been uh, Matt Corbin and myself have been talking a little bit back and forth about opening a brewery. I know Jared was kind of interested in the idea, so we ran into each other yep. in Lexington and kind of said, "Hey, what do you think about opening a brewery in Pikeville?" And I think it just kind of snowballed from there. I mean, it was just sort of snowballed over the course of a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it was it was we, we kind of knew early on that this is what we wanted to do, and then it just takes a while to get through all the approval processes and and building things out and, and taking care of all that. Yeah. I started out with a little like gallon and a half Mr. Beer kit at the house, and so that really every step along the way you kind of learn something new every time you make a new batch every time you make a new recipe you make something new and whenever i ran into and, and met up with these guys that you know knew jared for a long time you know, being from Pressburg high school and everything um, but whenever we came together and started talking you know his expertise in in the restaurant industry and having some of those those backgrounds in and being able to kind of educate me a little bit on the oh yeah whenever we had the the, the restaurant and we, we were working with the bar we did this and and these types of styles sold and these didn't it was one of those things that we just kind of kind of melded together really well yeah with my background it was basically um, opening the restaurant in Prestonsburg I was really focused on bourbons and then kind of fell in love with beer over the course of the four and five years that I was with that um, so Casey was a mastermind behind recipes and everything and then I could just basically pitch in and, and what what sold in the area and then uh, matching palettes as far as what the area I think would be comparable to um, and then what we all enjoy. And the good news is we're we're small. I mean, extremely small. When you look at most breweries, their most microbreweries are still five times larger than us. So that means that we're able to produce out enough to fill our own needs here at the tap room. But every time you come in, it's probably going to be something new that's on tap because we can do that at the size that we are. Yeah, we can have fun with each brew as well. There's nothing that was to max capacity that you don't want to get rid of something. I mean, it's just basically everyone can be a one-off. And that's what we're looking forward to, is having fun with it um, and, and showcasing what talent he has, but also um, just new things for the area too. Um, so that way it is kind of a congregation place. Come by, see what's new, chit chat, meet with friends, that kind of thing. So we have 12, uh, 12 taps slated to go ahead and fulfill. Uh, currently we have seven on right now. Um, so the variety will be the whole gambit. I mean, they're, they're, we've got anything from a stout on to a New England IPA. Um, you know, we do a sparkling pale ale currently. So it's just basically, basically whatever we're thinking is gonna be good right now, we'll, we'll go after. No, no set type or style, it's just uh, across the board. We're kind of listening to our, our general audience and seeing what they like. Um, we don't necessarily have to put out the same things and we don't have to put out what we want. We want to put out what our general population wants and what those folks that come in and, and drink here want to see. And so we're listening a lot to, to those folks that come in for our preview night tonight um, and what they're thinking about what, what they'd like to see. And we're also looking at the, the festivals that are going on and what's going well there and what's winning prizes and, and what people are really liking right now. And we move in that direction. We're courting right now, if you will, with the ideas and possibilities with uh, other distributors or what we would like to do. So if you own a distribution company, <laughs> call your man. You know. So what we're really looking at probably is we're small and we got to take care of our people that are in our tap room first. And then we want to make sure to get that out to those restaurants and bars that are, are looking for that new um, local beer that also kind of features something that they can't get anywhere else and the freshest stuff that you're going to be able to find. So we're only going to grow as fast as we're able to provide the most 
quality. Quality product, I think, is what we're really looking at. Swing on by and try them out. Absolutely. Yeah, opening uh, week is, or opening day is going to be coming up in a couple weeks, so keep it updated with our Facebook page and our, our website, uh, Broken Throne Brewing. Um, you can find us on any social media platform. Yep, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Broken Throne Brewing.